If you have been in the ayahuasca community space for longer than a hot minute, you would probably realize that the calling to become a shaman or a facilitator of her medicine is a very common thing. It's kind of a joke that everybody in their first few ceremonies decides they want to do this work. And it's people that have done it for a really long time that are like, oh my God, no, it's so hard. It's so intense. But why is that? Do you ever stop to wonder why is it that it feels like, you know, a good number of people get the calling to do a job that so few people end up doing? A lot of different potential reasons. I like the expression that ayahuasca doesn't reproduce, she recruits. So she calls a lot of us to do this work in part because, uh, you know, the people that I trained with, the indigenous group that I trained with, they said only about 5% of the people that begin apprenticing actually complete it because it's crazy intense and it asks everything of us. So it could be the law of numbers in this case that uh, many, many people have to be called in order for the number of people that we really need to be experienced behind the altar to uh, have that kind of level of training because it has such a high turnover rate, um, including people who make it to the point of sitting behind the altar. It's hard to sustain that because it, it's just, there's so many reasons, it's super intense. But that could be part of it. Um, I think also there's just some element of the magic that most of us are in awe of when we get to experience it for the first time. Because in the Western world, we don't grow up getting to experience that kind of, of uh, shamanic magic, or at least I didn't. Um, and so when I first witnessed it 20 years ago, uh, a part of me deeply wanted to be you know, connected to that because it was heaven. And I wanted to know that the world always had magic in that way. And so I wondered to myself early on, just like so many of us do, could I do that? And you know, my answer back then was no way because I didn't have a whole lot of faith in my abilities. So that had to be healed. But my point with that is, is, is how can we not feel this desire to be a part of, of just profoundly beautiful healing, connection, you know, the limitlessness of that space. So I think a lot of us desire to be a part of that in some way. Uh, then there is the more trickster uh, aspect of this is, you know, ayahuasca, mushrooms, a lot of these plants will amplify the egoic sort of uh, inflated narcissistic, if you will, view that some of us have of ourselves. And um, they will inflate that for the purpose of eventually popping it to bring us back down to reality. Um, so, but the problem with that is a lot of people don't realize that they are being fed uh, a reflection from the plants that supports the egoic perspective, but that isn't necessarily for the highest good. Why do they do that? Because they love us enough to play the role of the villain and to sometimes reflect these things that our egos want to be true. In this case, you're a shaman. Um, had a lot of people come out of one or two ceremonies declaring that they are shamans and that they are here to heal, heal people. And I'm not saying that that's not true, but if you're proclaiming that, especially after one or two or just a handful of ceremonies, if there is an egoic attachment, uh, that has to be dealt with, that has to be healed, that has to be deflated. So sometimes it has to be inflated for it to pop. Um, and it's just the, the, the way of things. So it's tricky. I mean, when people have this calling early on, I just say, awesome, sit with it. There's no urgency, there's no rush. And in the traditions that I studied, it takes the minimum of seven years to complete an apprenticeship. So it shouldn't be something that we're trying to rush anyway. But I never ever want to discourage anybody's calling because if people had successfully done that with me, they tried, uh, I wouldn't have my dream job. I wouldn't be living the soul's purpose uh, that I came here to do. And so I highly encourage everyone to follow the calling, but to do the work to do the work and to stay committed to doing this in a way that is safe for ourselves and the people that we want to pour for. And it's a long journey, just like med medical school is, just like any massive undertaking is, but it's, it's well worth it. So thank you very much for listening. Please subscribe to Plant Med Medicine People, our YouTube channel, so that we can stay connected with future content. Drop us a comment if you have something to say, we wanna hear it. Much love.